What was that? Yeah, sounds like he's some shop owner or something. I wonder how that would work. Actually, scratch that, I don't want to know. Yeah, that would probably be the case. Anyway, uh, this is the PSP 2 with Spyro again. And now we're doing the Yellow Gem Cups. After that weird moment uh, don't ask yep good one and real quick I uh, I honestly don't get why there are two red tokens for Insanity Beach and two yellows for Citadel City they could have had with like where Mystery Cave was yellow and Hot Air Skyway was red I know, I know, I get it. The, the, the yellow gem cups, uh, yellow gems in the Crash games are generally the hardest to get, so it would make sense that the four hardest cracks would be in the, the yellow cup. And as I think that in certain Spyro games, the yellow gems are hold the highest value. Is that true? I know that's not the case in the first game, but what about the red? Like, are they worth 25 or 10 in those games? Oh. I can't blame you. But, they... The, what I do know is that the yellow gems do generally hold high value. So, so one could theoretically justify a hot air skyway and oxide station being yellow, despite being in the same And I did horribly that first race, but hopefully in Tiny Arena, things go better. And while I'm on the subject of yellow, um, how exactly did you meet Sparks. I don't think I've ever heard about that. Uh, they <laughs> it's alright. So, what happened to your parents? Your dragon parents. What happened to them? I hope they're still around, because the last thing I want to hear is the fact that. Hey, maybe. Uh, Toys for Bob could make a new spiral game that covers your parents. Yeah, that's... Beyond? And yet you cooked them up. <laughs> that does set a precedent for for your games. That's dedication. That's kind of 
the weird thing about of video game characters and their families and stuff. With the exception of Green the Rabbit, who does in fact have a mother, what about Mario and Luigi? We haven't seen their parents. What about Sonic? I'm not counting Sonic Underground. We haven't seen their parents. Tails? Knuckles? Oh, well, as for Knuckles, his tribe pretty much got obliterated by Chaos and he was the only one left. So, Huh? Oh, like Uncle Chuck? Yeah. Yeah, I've read more of the comics once of Sonic and found out that, yeah, the Tails is parents, so his father was not a Sonic. Yeah. What about his mother? I didn't really cover her much other than her giving birth. Well, again, as for Knuckles, his a entire Kidna tribe was obliterated by Chaos, so I'm pretty sure we can guess what happened to his parents. And as for Shadow, well, he was he was created by scientists. So unless you count hey, Gerald, I think I read, I think I heard someone say that he was a, he was basically the next Sonic clone after uh, Mario. So I'm pretty sure he was created by Sonic. Yeah. I I I heard that he was going to look exactly like Sonic or something like that, but missing an eye. God, that would be dark. Yeah. Sparks is right. Sparks is right here. Didn't a band make a change to basically the kids and smell Sonic in the middle What? Oh yeah, the Sonic shorts. Whose idea was it to boat race in hot lava? Oh god, yeah, those, those, those videos are still going, but I think only the amount of After the game was closed off, I think they should have stopped there instead of going to the Sonic Seconds. Though, I do like that one joke in Sonic Seconds where Eggman says, The sun will burn you are! <laughs> Wait. Oh yeah, Seaside denied Metropolis Mayhem Casino uh, Catastrophe or Calamity? I do know they're working on animating it, but... That they poke fun at the snooping as usual, I see. Line. Oh, right! Like, I remember one at the end of the credits. The what? Dude! The one moment where Tails doll was actually trying to help. Oh, you mean like the end of the third Sonic short where he was, there was like, this like, play with me scene or something like that? Is that what you think? Oh 
yeah, I even heard that Tails doll was even capable of becoming an Eldritch Abomination-like creature in the Sonic comics. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, hey, Sonic R, Sonic R had an amazing soundtrack, but didn't very handle very well. But I, if there's anyone, if there's any, yeah, but if there's any one Sonic racing game, I would recommend. It would, it would either be the Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Games, or even Team Sonic Racing. And I know what some of you might be asking. Why is Sonic in a car? Well, I'm here to answer that one question. Because it's the rules! Yeah, I think they referenced that one to see that uh, in one of the Sonic shorts. Like, Sonic's driving a car, and then Sonic just takes a real license. <laughs> That's a pretty good joke, although the real reason why Sonic Drift wasn't all that great was, again, the uh, controls were a bit wonky. But again, Sonic's in the car because those are the rules. Of course he went in a foot race. That's not what we're measuring when we're talking about uh, those games. How good of a driver is he? What, are you stupid? <laughs> There's also the fact that it's Who was called Rosie the Rascal back then? I heard he was originally called. She was originally called Rosie the Rascal or something like that. But the name was changed to. I guess. Make it easier to recognize or something like that. I. I. Yeah, I yep. But what's weird is that. Isn't the Sonic R manual? I heard Sonic's perfectly fine with that. Yeah, well, one of the, the most stunning things for me was when I heard that Super Monkey Ball was meant to be ported to the Sega Dreamcast, but had to be ported to the GameCube. And I, it's not like I have anything against the GameCube, I love the GameCube, it's just... Imagine what Super Monkey Ball would be like if it was on the Dreamcast. It could have been, it could have saved the Dreamcast entirely. Like, if the sales were anything to go by, then it's very likely that Super Monkey Ball would have saved Sega from their console debt and, and brought them back into the mainstream. Because And we should get off the Sonic topic before we run out of footage. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. It was talking about... I was... I probably would have run out of things to say, so... I didn't mind talking about some Sonic. And hey, because hey, I do plan to do playthroughs of his, his franchise. Probably not every single one of his games and look every single 
thing about him, but I will at least tackle the main series games. But until then... Yeah. Uh, I'm to get a good chunk of them, the main series games, in a... Uh, compilation a discs? Sonic Mega Collection for the game Yep. I heard PC talk about how he had that game once. Yep. And now, that's the end of the Yellow Gem Cup, so in the next one, we'll be getting the Purple Gem. That's your color, Spyro.